Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new tutorial by 3D Artcore and this time um, I thought to teach you how to model an iPhone and I picked this object because uh, it's quite simple to create uh, uh, it doesn't have too much details and anyone can do it even uh, um, beginners so Let's start. Uh, as usual, if you uh, set up um, process things, you know, I need to set up my um, work area. So at first, go over shading, choose smooth wireframes, and also do me a favor, choose wireframe on shaded. And also, um, in your case, it won't be set to x ray, so don't do it. And the next thing is to um, go over win, uh, create polygons primitive and uncheck the interactive creation so you don't have a V sign like here okay just make sure you don't have it and then we can start also um, excuse me one, one more thing uh, go over file create your project window uh, your new project folder actually and set after you create it set the project to be the folder that you uh, just create in this uh, thing uh, okay now let's start um, let's start by creating a cube simple cube um, just one moment okay um, I'm going to uh, make it something like this with the scale tool and make it bigger and thinner and something like this okay um, maybe just maybe something like this and like that yeah that's that looks great um, now right click on your uh, cube choose uh, by the way uh, right click and hold choose edge choose this edge here this edge here this edge here and shift this edge here in order to choose them all together at the same time you need to hold down the shift so make sure you do it um, mesh go over edit mesh if you don't see this menu here go over this menu and make sure it's on polygons and then you will see the edit mesh uh, tab and choose bevel okay after you chose bevel you will get something that looks like this and from here the left side here this icon click on it once or twice until you will see something that look like this and make sure you are at the poly bevel one um, tab here from the segments had a little bit few segments something like seven it's okay and then decrease the offset so you will get something that look like an iphone okay um yeah somewhere there it's okay maybe add some more segment and we are fine now next thing is to choose this edge here this edge here this edge here this one also rotate your uh, iphone your view sorry choose this one this one shift choose this one this one already picked I'm not sure why but I see that we have some uh, edge that didn't suppose supposed to be uh, selected so um, hold down the control and choose it in order to unchoose it but still keep all the others uh, selected okay after you select them all tap on delete on your keyboard they will they will will all disappear Okay, now the next thing is tap on F8 to bring it back to object mode. Object mode ma means that you need you have this uh, green wireframes on your object on top of your object. Um, now I have the feeling that maybe this iPhone is a little bit too fat, maybe so. Maybe I'm going to scale it like so. Okay, and now now we are going to create another new cube okay here's the cube I'm going to stretch it uh, something like this but leave some space here because 
this cube will uh, repre uh, will present our uh, our screen. So make sure you have something some uh, space here, okay? And then we will scale it up to something about so, okay? And we're going to move it somewhere here just for a moment okay we still have to do some uh, something with this shape um, so right click on it choose face choose this face shift select this face use the extrude okay click on extrude once and then you will get this uh, three arrows and the circle now you need to tap once on one of those cubes it uh, doesn't matter which one of them after you will tap on one of them with your mouse you will get this middle one okay and that this is what we need so um, click and hold this cube okay and we need to create some kind of a frame to our iPhone okay and uh, it should be equal on the width of it so I'm going to use the green square which represent the up and down uh, direction okay and then I'm trying to see if it's quite similar to the width of this uh, area of our frame maybe I need a little bit uh, more adjustment to this alright I'm not sure maybe it's too much uh, maybe I will play a little bit with this sides uh, in order to fix this yeah that's good now when you get this result uh, click again on extrude and then you the blue um, the blue uh, the bluish square in the middle will disappear uh, but I just want you to catch the blue arrow and bring it a little bit outside okay so something like this okay this is how uh, iPhone 4s is looking and this is why we need it now tap on F8 to bring it back to object mode and now we will take the cube we created and we are going to um, <coughs> bring it, insert it uh, a little bit inside our iPhone okay now I, adjust, I adjusted the scale of this uh, cube as the scale for um, our um, screen now I maybe need a little bit to scale it something like this here and just make sure you leave enough space to the button lower button and for the camera and the speaker at the upper okay so uh, something like this it's fine I think something like this yeah and now we will go over shading x-ray and I'm going to see to insert this cube a little bit very a bit inside our uh, iPhone okay uh, if you want you can use the top view or maybe the fourth view in order to see how much it's inside our iPhone you see okay so that's fine something like this see the blue arrow the blue uh, lines here um, belongs to the uh, iPhone itself and I'm just inserting this cube uh, inside uh, the iPhone okay and then I'm switching back to the perspective view choose first the iPhone shift select the cube itself go over mesh booleans and difference okay so that way we created a screen to the iPhone now I will bring it back to uh, 
just turn off the x-ray and this is how it looks like now um, the next thing will be to create a new cylinder okay the new cylinder here and with your move tool move it outside um, from the attribute editor uh, make sure the cylinder is selected choose the poly cylinder one tab and had 50 subdivision axes click on round cap so uh, it will create those two points and add more subdivision caps so it will get the shape of a peel okay now uh, switch to the channel box here which this is the one okay make sure it says channel box here up here use the rotate tool in order to rotate it a little bit and you can see that uh, it's rotate in this direction which means rotate at the x direction so type at the x direction 90 degrees and bring it over here somewhere down here uh, use the scale tool to make it little and something like this it's okay and I'm going to bring it inside the iPhone just to see uh, how much it's big um, okay now click on the back because this is the back view and make sure you uh, put don't play with it with the directions too much uh, actually don't play with them at all uh, as long you create as long as you created the cylinder and you leave it at this uh, direction it will always stay centered unless you moved it to the sides okay so that way I know that at least at this direction it's centered click on back to focus on the object you select and make sure it's somewhere uh, at the middle of this part of the iPhone okay it should be somewhere in the middle now um, the next thing is to create another uh, polygon cylinder but this time I'm going to duplicate this item okay so control D to duplicate it move it aside and choose this one and go back to the attribute editor now at the attribute editor you can uh, uncheck the round cap so now we have only uh, regular cylinder okay and here you can't do it okay so don't get confused between them this is a duplicated item and this is the original item so this one you still can you can still modify the cap and here you can't do it anymore okay so choose this one and turn on the x-ray make sure that the cylinder is sorry the cylinder is somewhere here a little very little bit inside not much choose the iPhone shift select the cylinder mesh and uh, first before sorry another thing is uh, low low down to the to zero the subdivision caps okay I want a clean face here inside my iPhone so make sure it's the same and shift select the iPhone shift select the cylinder mesh booleans and difference okay now we have something that look like this and this is good because uh, we will leave some space in uh, between where the button is supposed to be and the button itself okay um, so I'm shrinking the pill a little bit very very little bit okay not much and I'm squeezing it to something that will look like this and then you move it inside here and zoom inside to see that our button is actually this first um, subdivision um, line is actually touching the surface of the button that we just created okay somewhere 
you know what maybe not much uh, maybe somewhere here it's okay okay so um, no it won't be okay you, uh, you really need to trust on the inner circle of that we created like this one okay I just show you what I'm talking about this one okay the one that I'm marking right now okay so uh, trust on this one and just make sure that it's okay like this and all right that way select the iPhone shift select the button mash booleans and difference okay now you have an iPhone button okay option button button options I'm not sure now the next thing is um, maybe right click choose vertices now I don't want you to choose um, by mistake any other um, vertices but I do want you to uh, fix some issue we have here so um, let's try to do it it's very difficult but let's try um, choose only those vertices of our button okay like so let's see if I chose the other ones no nope. it's not good it's not good at all let's give it another try maybe here from the top it will be easier okay okay you see I'm trying to catch all those vertices okay and then I will have to see if I chose any other by mistake no I didn't okay everything looks fine you see I just don't want this part of uh, the vertices the, this first um, circle vertices and then I will use the move tool okay in order to maybe bring them outside like so and that's perfect okay tap on F8 and this is the first uh, part of this tutorial um, we will continue at the other part I hope you enjoy this one and if you have any question leave a comment uh, I'll be sure uh, get get back to you have a nice day and see you soon bye